I had a very funny joke for this the first time, but he did not. All he said was, "You're a faggot." Oh, huh? that was a slip of the tongue. Says he a green kind of crazy. Crazy. Oh yeah, this is another one of the uh, uh, special missions. So you only get it if you have the uh, full he, ultimate edition or whatever? Yeah. Another thing about it is uh, you get like five exclusive achievements just for this level, so they'll all be in the description in the order. Plus, I'll, they'll physically pop up. I'll edit that in. And I'll talk about them for it. Before they appear. You said these are only on PS3 and PC originally? Yeah. It's a pretty big jip towards Xbox. Yeah, I don't know what uh, Rockstar's problem is. They probably sold the game for just as much, too. Mm -hmm. you drive. You Let me just review on. these case notes here. <laughs> we don't even know what's happened. They're calling her the Dahlia now. Well, There's a sort of a smooth drive out among the stamp Yeah, it's pretty smooth. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I was going to say, four cars going into the intersection at the same time. So anyway, we're going to go uh, confront a possible car thief right now. High speed chase! Anyway, uh, the first achievement's coming up. It's called uh, Nowhere to Go. That sounds like a hard no, one to get. Not. You just have to. You'll see. Just disable this car by ramming into it. Yeah. Nice. Pit maneuver. No, we're gonna just ram into him as hard as we can. <laughs> so stupid. Just spear him. That's pretty much how, like, I always get them when they're going around, like, corners or something. Yeah, it's really, like, a great feeling in just any car game where you crunch, crush them, like, side. Wow, that fucking yeah. mailbox. <laughs> I know, it's still like <laughs> It's a gaming moment. Yeah. I was considering just restarting at this point, but I'm like, hey, I, I'll be fine. What was wrong? Did you do some property damage? Oh, yeah, I got property oh. damage. But it wasn't... I don't even think it came up. I think it's just vehicle damage. And just smash him right here. He really should have turned right. He was pretty stupid. Yeah. Um, you might notice I edited that achievement in. Something seemed weird. I didn't notice. I didn't even look up. Yeah, like I already have the achievements, so I just figured it'd make it easier. I did that for like four other ones, too. This guy does not look like a car thief. Nice little vest. It's paperwork to prove it. Here's another achievement. Uh, well, it's part like four, one of four of. Uh, there's one called race. Uh, yeah, racing for pinks. You need to get all pink slips. All four pink slips in this game. Yeah, and you get. Uh, you get almost. You get like the first three by just answering questions correctly. So don't be too concerned. So if this guy's owning his car, why did he run? And why did he keep running after you hit him a few times? It wasn't until you speared him and his car was incapacitated. Yeah, that'll actually be an Both of those will be answered. Uh, make sure to flip to the other side, even though sometimes it doesn't tell you. You just do that by pressing A instead of B, if you're an Xbox guy. Huh. I don't care what the controls are if you're a PS3 guy. If you're a PS3 guy, get the fuck out. Yeah, just stop watching this video. Oh, Maybe yeah. You give him one second of doubt. You're all over him. <laughs> so he has some weed. One reefer and he fucking peels out. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll let it slide. Oh, that's what you're using? Okay, keep on going. <laughs> His vase, when he's telling the truth, looks very unsure. I think he's just like kind of aggressive right now, just angry. I don't know. He just sort of looks all past you, just like in a daze. Yeah, it gets tougher to identify truths and doubts. Where did this guy come from? 
Hey you, arrest this guy. <laughs> yeah, so... It appears this guy, it's actually his car. He legitimately bought it, so we're gonna go talk to the guy who sold it to him. His dad? No, the car dealership. <laughs> I like this interaction here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the only time I'll drive is during high speed chases. <laughs> like how mad that you want to drive. And that... Yeah. Whoa. Some of the most convincing people you will ever listen to are born liars. Usually they're called politicians. Let's keep the political talk out of this. Outburst out of this, yeah. Um... There's a achievement called Car Fanatic. I mentioned this before. You know, you have to get an every vehicle in the game. There's a lot of vehicles here. You might want to take this opportunity to just get in and out of every car. Uh -huh. Get in and get out. He told you not to take a, a step further, but go right ahead. The way you can advance the game. Yeah. Yeah. I actually find this guy funny. Like, he probably won't, and both of these characters don't either. Yeah, I like this right here. It took me a while to get the jokes, but I thought it was funny. Walk like this. I don't think he's funny. What do you think of his? It's, yeah. I mean, I would never be a salesman like that, but I could appreciate a good joke. And yeah, you don't actually have to search for any clues in this game. Everyone will just kind of present them to you. Yeah, like I was just sitting down yeah. already, just patiently waiting for you. Yeah. So yeah, here's a pink slip two of the the pink slip achievement, the racing for pink. There's a stamp. So it looks like a yeah, so it looks like a Gene Archer brought the car we were just chasing to this place and then it was sold to that kid. And what is this? I actually I don't know what it is. What is it? Automotive copy. And I guess is there a seat? Yeah. This just shows she bought it. <laughs> Nothing suspicious here. So now we can just talk to him. Can you tell us how you came to buy the car? The girl just wandered in right off the street. Nothing unusual about the car. Not really my usual type of vehicle. The price was certainly right, though. Nice girl, but about as sharp as a bag of wet mice. Did you pay with check or cash? A check. She wanted it made out to cash, but I insisted. Man has to watch his cash flow. What name? I made it out to Gene Archer on the Bank of Arcadia. Good memory. Can you describe this Gene Archer? Mm -hmm. A little Maybe too a suspicious, if I might add. Little on the plump side, but not the guy. Yeah, don't actually. That was a joke. He, there's nothing suspicious about it. In a hurry to go somewhere, but no place to go. He gets to know the time. Do you know anything about the company that prints these pink slips? Nope. Should I? It isn't exactly my business. Yeah, that's that was a little difficult to figure out. You've never heard of them? Marquis. Mm -hmm. Sure. They do all the government red tape. You find the place down on Aliso Street near San Pedro. Now this is where it gets tricky. Exactly did you hand over the check? Close a play on Friday. But he's folding his arms. You knew the car was dirty. Which is a mental way of distancing yourself from someone. I don't even know what that means. All above board? Yeah. You know, like a, the opposite of under the table? Yeah, that's what I figured I was going to ask. Like, like I kind of got the under the table reference. 
need to continue the investigation. Hope you sort out your problem with Mr. Harrison. Go easy on him, son. I thought they always end on good terms, even if you found out they were liars. They're still not convinced <laughs> of anything. Yeah. Uh, don't don't let your partner shoot him. Yeah, I don't like Bukowski one bit. <laughs> yeah, remember to get in these vehicles. I was actually thinking about just doing it myself because I don't have the achievement, but I figured I can do that at my own time. I mean, I could have just cut it out, but I just wanted to get this video done. We have a place to be. We're gonna walk there quickly. <laughs> just no, I just head to this uh, phone. Like it says on the radar to get to the phone. Or if you go in your car, you can just go, you'll just go right to the radio. Either way. But, you know, I, I like to get my partner to drive. Mm -hmm. Requesting an APB on Gene Archer, age approximately 25, on suspicion of Grand Theft Auto. I'll relay the information. Any message? Does that fucking sound like Gene Archer? <laughs> does James sound like Gene? Kinda. <laughs> Kinda does, yeah. <laughs> well, it's not Gene, so just let him go. Uh, you can actually drive any of these cars if you can want. You well, yeah, <laughs> just like we stole the other. Just the oh, other in the other video. Drive, eh? I'll bring it back. <laughs> don't say anything. Just keep driving. Yeah. It just makes another s cheesy joke. We are going to the precinct. Yeah, well, we're just going to an address right now. You would expect to go to the precinct, but you'll see why we're going to this address first. That was the bad thing. Mm -hmm. He didn't even signal. Did they, did they have signals? Yeah. They, they did have signals in this day, right? But the, the pink slip said to, that this was Gene Archer's address or whatever, but it appears to be a vacant lot. I don't think that's true. Check it out. <laughs> yeah, uh, accidentally, because I, cause I thought, I, like, the cutscene showed I was driving, so I just quickly got out to try to save time. <laughs> but we'll head back in the car. <laughs> Anyway, now we're going to the central precinct. I would have at least checked the place out. There's no clues or anything. I know, but I mean if I was actually a cop. Yeah, I did my first playthrough. And I, I sometimes use like Wikipedia to, before I play this game. Make sure I get everything. Shut up, don't judge me. I was hoping I'd bump into the same two people. Here's another guy who stole a car. Uh, we have absolutely no idea if it's associated, but we'll just assume it is. Same signature. Or whatever, what is that, a, a J? Yeah, it looks like just some kind of code. It says code right beside it, so. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know what the code actually references. But. Yeah. So yeah, that's the third pink slip. The last one you'll actually have to search yourself. That's really easy. This guy doesn't tell the truth once. Not looking good for you, James Velasco. Hey, yeah, you think after this he'd cooperate a little more? Nevada, Arizona, sometimes New Mexico. But the paperwork they provide is normally a breeze. Does the name Gene Archer mean anything to you? Nope. Never heard of her. Mm hmm. Um. You're a liar, James. So yeah, there's two pieces of evidence you can show. I don't know the broad. And, uh. Um. Uh, one's fake address, and one is, uh, Archer's ownership papers, as you'll see I'm pressing right now. Yeah, what's the, uh. What'd you say the person was? Uh, fake address and Archer's yeah, how's ownership fake address? papers. Mean that you know. Uh, cause they both have the same fake address on it. Yeah. 
Yeah, yo, we'll see this Gene Archer later. She is absolutely stupid. Yeah, so it looks like they uh, steal cars and yeah, they, like, launch they move cars. it somewhere. Mm -hmm. And I think they bring it to a chop shop. I don't know the whole story. Something illegal. It sounds like the cars get stolen or something, and then it's their job mm -hmm. to sell them to dealers for cheap so they can get rid of them and make a bit of a profit off them. That raises suspicion. You'll see why that's not it. Uh, it's a good. Uh, it's a good assumption though, but. Like, it just seems like exactly like what you do with counterfeit money, sort of thing. Mm hmm. But Gene Archer made this mistake. If it is, I need your help here, pal. If it is, then we'll know you're a man of your word. So will the DA. Yeah, I'll talk to like two people right now. Look, can we do this later? I'm in the middle of it. Ray Tanker. I'm with technical services. The pink slips are all real. Yes, we know that. Ray Tanker. Pink slips are real. Amazing to me that he introduces himself as soon as they were busy, so I will leave it alone. <laughs> Hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> you just write down a piece of paper. Gordon Lightfall. <laughs> yeah, he's just giving me the address of the Pink Slip Company. Yeah, like, I, was, I thought this was my partner walking away, so I just started following it. I was like, this doesn't seem like the right way. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh oh. So I just came, did a little jog right here to save some time. Get a different hat, Bukowski. Phelps, <laughs> suspect Gene Archer, spotted by a patrolman. Western Union officer, 253 South Hill. Less than a minute away from the street. I don't even know what she looks like. Go! She won't hang around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, we're not actually gonna run, we're just gonna. Just fake that you're running around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like, wow, he's yeah. really, in good, he's in great shape. <laughs> he's like six blocks Yeah, away. your partner. God. <laughs> yeah, the partner just <laughs> walks out the door expecting you to be running. He just sees you he's calmly <laughs> sitting in the car. So here is the Gene Archer. LAPD. Mm -hmm. We'll take it from here. But I like God damn mm -hmm. it. Everyone's against me. Look, just let me get my money and get out of here, okay? She seems like a sweet girl. How about giving the girl a break? That could be very nice. I'm afraid I can't do that. Oh, yes. Stefan, call for black and white. Just my luck to get the only hair sure cop in the LAPD. The car you You're not the attractive enough to be a sweet <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like to imagine he's actually like writing the questions in his notebook while he's driving yeah. the drive. Yeah, she was dumb enough to sell one of the cars. Yeah, it seems like it'd be weird because they'd be able to track it to the guy that said he lost his car. Yeah. Look, a girl needs things. I don't see you looking out for me. It's because you're breaking the law. You and Belasco been delivering cars. Who is yeah. James Belasco? Ooh. You're lying. James Belasco. I don't remember mentioning his first name, Miss Archer. Oh, I you think that'd be enough? Just a doubt to would be. <laughs> well, I'm sure of it. Well, anyway, we know it anyways know. because he said he met her. Yeah. So we'll just go, uh, what is it, uh, J Belasco? Something with Blasco's name in it. Blasco's ownership people. Blasco, share the same address on your pink slips. We have him in a cell. Okay, so I know the creep. The pink slips are real. <laughs> All these associates seem to not like each other. That's how I wish my my subordinates to be in the future. Just all hate each other. <laughs> no one gets along. But they just encourages them to do their work and keep themselves. Look, I I can't remember. They need your help, but they just don't want to talk to you. Oh, they hate me, just hate each other. 
Okay, I forgot another achievement's coming up right here. Um, you just answer, you just do all, you branch all the questions correctly, and that's uh, the achievements. Uh, Fem imbecile. Fem imbecile. Fem imbecile. You'll you'll see the achievement pop up. The one I already have. I don't know when to time the achievement, so I just kind of. Oh yeah, it doesn't look anything like how it's supposed to. <laughs> yeah, and there's like some kind of transaction that happens, like it smooths to the left or something. Kind of fades in. Did they change them? Because what happened to them popping up right in the middle? The big green? Well, I, I added these myself, so... <laughs> uh, I think the second last achievement I get is actually... Because uh, there's one achievement that I didn't have. So you'll see what it actually looks like later. Mm. Like I'm trying to figure out where my car is, and there it is. Uh, now we're actually going to check out this uh, pink slip operation. Gordon Lightfall. All right. where to? Mm -hmm. Surprised you remember his name, Ashley. I never forget a name. Plus the guy said it like five times in a conversation. What's my real name? I don't want to answer it. On the air. Okay. Have we ever actually brought up my last name? Just like, curious. Alright. I like how you're right on the guy's tail pressured him to go into this little way. <laughs> you got this! Yeah, I like when you're passionate, it still kind of like holds off until the conversation's over. Yeah. Marquee printing code. 4.13 p.m. So that's the master criminal. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh, I also thought it was funny, remember in our last video you brought up how there's like no main storyline? Yeah. I, think. I was watching a hit. I was watching a Hitman, one of our old Hitman videos yesterday, and you actually said the exact same line during, uh, during a, uh, what was it? During the episode with uh, oh, the big house and the in the Beach Boy and the Pool Boy. Oh yeah, were you the clown? I think. A Perfect Life. Yeah, all seem completely unrelated and then just string someone together for like the last three. Yeah. Uh, I think something will pick up sooner. Than uh than in a hitman. Certainly not. Why would I get mixed up in a thing like that? He seems like he's telling the truth. Yeah, I... Takes two steps back, looks <laughs> in every direction possible. I, uh... <laughs> why, uh, why, why would you even say that? Yeah. Do the names Cliff Harrison and James Velasco mean I hope this guy runs. No, he seems not. like the last guy that should be running. Virgin. <laughs> Sorry, he doesn't leave that counter. Oh, that's a Do you have any employee trouble? No, I don't. They've all been carefully screened. Mm-hmm. Now that I think about it, the name Coombs sounds familiar. I think they may have been involved in stolen documents in the past. You have a Don't you try to shovel this under good old Coombs. Yeah, Coombs is a okay. We'll pay Coombs a visit, though. Hand it over, light ball. You don't want us having bad thoughts about you, do you? Very well. But this really is a Okay, here's the book. Uh, very well, I just have to take two steps and... I feel like Bukowski's doing nothing. Yeah, he's fucking useless. Yeah, just find any... Just find Bigelow. Just find the name Bigelow and tap it. He appears the most in this book. Bigelow! 
<laughs> I actually tried that, like tapping just randomly uh, yesterday, and it actually makes the exact sound. So I'm very happy about that. It's like tapping in person? Yep, I was just tapping a desk. Well, I'm sure they actually had a person just <laughs> tap paper or whatever for the sound effect. Yeah. Nathan, cut that out. Sorry, boss. They probably thought you were just pointing out a clue. Wow, those are very impatient drivers behind you. Yeah, I don't even think we're blocking I know, just, he's on the um, second. Burp! Yeah. Here's an achievement coming up. Um, <clears throat> uh, it, there's pretty much only one opportunity to get it, so if you fail, just kill your, just let them kill you. And then try again. Why do we need guns? We don't even know what this place is like. <laughs> just a little <laughs> hop over the box. Yeah, just a little mom and pa type store. But yeah, for the chop block, I think it's called chop block. Chop shop. Uh, they're just that oh engine hanging. God. Just being suspended. I didn't even know that yeah. that guy was hostile. Yeah. He shot him in the head. <laughs> He's innocent. But don't take any chances. But yeah, the achievement, there's an engine hanging above the ceiling. You just need to shoot it and crush someone. See, that's what an achievement looks yeah, like. Nothing. To be fair, mine was like a still image in there. Yeah. It's going back and forth between a few. I am not editing it like that. that shot for? Uh, uh, press the mistake of my controller. Oh, you can shoot blindly right. out of cover. Yeah, no, I didn't realize for a while. There's another achievement where you kill every, kill an enemy with every gun in the game, so feel free to just pick every weapon up you see. That's what I do here. I wonder what the police force would think of you picking up and using their guns. <laughs> Phelps, put that away. I think they'd get mad at you, to be honest. You just right. start rolling through with an AK-47. Uh, I feel if your gun ran out of ammo, and you're in the middle of a gunfight, they would <laughs> be forgiving. Use some cover, bro. That's it. <laughs> and there's three cl three physical clues you have to, have to search out. Two on the table right here. And there's a, p a pile of pink slips on his desk where he, uh, he's standing behind. And that will get you the pink slip achievement. You think if he was willing to just give up right off the bat, he wouldn't have had all his workers kill, die for him? <laughs> yeah. He had no idea what they were doing. Yeah. Just say, stop it, boys, I'm willing to give up. But no, no, let every single one of them die. <laughs> boys, stop that! Where'd you get those guns? Yeah, here you'll get the uh, the pink slip achievement. Racing for pinks. You look better without a hat. <laughs> my partner should make himself useful and go find my hat. I feel like if this is modern day, he'd just be sitting down in a chair texting. Texting? Yeah, if it's modern day. You think instead of using a notebook, he's using a phone? No, like he's just doing his own shit, texting his friends while you're doing this investigation. Oh. <laughs> He hears the gun noises, not like face at all. Sort of walking slowly behind you, looking down at his phone. Okay, okay, ha ha, JK. Yeah. Well, anyways, got a GTG friends shooting that place. <laughs> yeah, friends dying. <laughs> and took a bullet to the head. I think he's fine, but lost his head. Mm -hmm. I thought that was a really good lie right here. <laughs> yeah, I think that's good. Tell me about this guy with no luck. The guy dead. He has no luck. It's like, yeah. 
It's very unlucky. What's um, the about this guy with no luck? Uh, first delivery ledger, but um, he's losing big. We just brought up a guy named who has no luck. That's just the title he goes by or something. And we already know who that guy is. That's the that's the owner of the Marquis de uh, Pink Slip Company. Uh, to sum it up, basically, he's in that that owner is in a lot of gambling debts, and he's making it up by giving this guy a legitimate pink slips. Oh. So that's why all those cars, those stolen vehicles, have legitimate pink slips, even though they're you know not legitimate. <laughs> all Gene Archer's fault. <laughs> yep, she wasn't stupid. Could have been a very successful rig, and I would have loved to be part of it. I couldn't find my car here. I'm like, is that it way off in the Did distance? Did fucking steal it? <laughs> There's no. I'm not, I was going to jog through that. Oh, yeah, it's be very concerning if that's my car. Every single one of them gives you like three inches space. Mm -hmm. uh, now we're going to go back to the marquee printing company. And one more achievement, but that's... Oh, you can't you miss it just by beating this case. Are you driving? No. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, good at it. Uh, yeah, I don't know what the hell... <laughs> What's going on there? Weird. Anyway, we didn't miss anything important. Back here. Yep. Only 17 minutes after talking to that Coombs guy. Hmm. He'll recognize us, I'm sure. You're under arrest. You again? This harassment is starting to wear thin. Mm hmm. And we'll ask him one final question. Pink slips in a warehouse full of hot cars. You signed for the light bulb. I signed for all the orders and deliveries. You'll need something better than that, cowboy. <laughs> I am not a cowboy. We already have all we need to send you down. I've had enough of this. You either produce some shred of proof, or I call my attorney. Proof so you can press. Betting slips or gambling debts? Betting slips. No. Betting slips. Oh, thank God. I thought I was actually going to pick it. <laughs> I didn't want to go back on my word. I'm prepared to help you in any way I can, Detective. I'll name names. Uh, I need you to keep this out of the paper. I need you need to shut up now, Lightball. That's not going to help him. Charging you with conspiracy no. and fraud has behind your back. The LAPD Central Traffic Division has today smashed a nationwide auto theft ring, writes crime correspondent blah blah blah. Oh, I don't know the crime correspondent's name. Squad detective. <laughs> <laughs> no, go back, boss. After an exchange of gunfire. More than a dozen dead criminals were removed from the scene. The LAPD so you get the final achievement. How do you guys smile about that? You killed 12 people. <laughs> <laughs> Hard day's work. So yeah, here's the final achievement. It's just by in the case of Printer's Devil or something. The Printer's Devil. Mm -hmm. Five stars. Good work. Good work, everyone. <laughs>